Hello everyone, my name is Z and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what the best Leatherface build is in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But before we get into this video, if you want to show support to a new content creator on the platform, hit the like, comment down below, and why not consider subscribing? I very much appreciate it. We're going to be covering the attributes first. So first things first, Savagery, you want to get that up to 50 as fast as possible. Having the max amount of damage for your Leatherface is going to be key for the beginning portion of the game to doing as much damage as you can to survivors. Once you get the Feral perk, which I'm going to be showcasing the skill tree in a second, uh, you are going to only need three attribute points in Savage Tree to max it out to 50 once you get this perk. Now, for blood harvesting, this is personal preference. If you want to be a support to Grandpa, I recommend that you do all your perks into blood harvesting this will give you at least 120 for inventory i could be wrong but if you don't want to do blood harvesting bump it all up into endurance his base endurance is really good 35 is amazing so you don't really need to worry about endurance that well so blood harvesting 39 35 for these these are these are the stats that you want for your leather face moving on to the skill tree uh, i will say that i have pretty much looked into almost every single perk in the game uh, for the leather face and i have to say uh, that the best skill tree to go down is honestly the left one from here left to get uh, feral and then the best grandpa ability is the swinging for the fences this reduces your stamina consumption on melee attacks by 20 percent but anyway making your way up once you get to your first like divide right here you want to go right because of the universal donor increases your blood collection from buckets by 40 percent it gives you like 35 blood per bucket which is really good and then making your way up make sure to grab all the attribute points Here's another good uh, passive perk for Grandpa. I usually throw this on when uh, someone else has um, my endurance is um, the well-fed young'uns. So whenever Grandpa's stoner is activated, all the family members instantly regain 50 points of stamina. So this is really good. Making your way up here to the left, uh, Savagery over here, you get all these points. But here is the last grandpa passive which is really good which is uh, slightly increased melee damage for all family members so if you want to be a support uh, for your teammates this is also a good one now moving on to the meme uh one of the first things that i put my point into is the reduced chainsaw overheat this is a longer revving up speeds so whenever you're in your sprint you don't need to worry about sprinting and causing your chainsaw to overheat as much it's 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 very slight it's a 10 percent but the one thing that i recommend is after this one is go to the middle which is stalling resistance this is amazing because once that you do a heavy attack the victim is on the ground you can swipe once or twice and you can do a little bit more damage to that survivor that's on the ground depending on how you play you could rev up your chainsaw while they're still on the ground to gain a third hit and be able to kill him and then from here from level two i haven't gotten to level three yet but i'm going to be going for the instant activation because it's just a time saver especially at the beginning of the match when you're in the basement having this you'll be able to rev up your chainsaw instantly and start start to chase people as soon as possible and especially if you know where they spawn in the map it's gonna be deadly you know that is it for this video i hope this video helps you out thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video peace out Bye-bye. Take care.